Herpes is contagious and is the most common sexually transmitted disease in the U.S. Herpes is caused by herpes simplex virus HSV, which can live in the body without causing any symptoms. After the initial infection, the virus gets into the nerve roots and spreads to the sensory nerve ganglia, the junctions where nerves from different parts of the body come together. Once you have contracted herpes, it will remain in your body for life. Around 195 million people in the United States live with herpes and is equally common in both males and females ranging from ages 14 to 49. There are two types of herpes simplex virus, HSV type 1 and HSV type 2. The HSV1 virus is commonly associated with cold sores and fever blisters, which affect the skin around the lips and face. And the HSV2 virus is caused by genital herpes. Genital herpes is usually spread through sexual contact through having vaginal, anal, or oral sex with a person who has the herpes simplex virus. These symptoms appear usually below the waist. Some of the important goals when living with genital herpes is to lead a safe and healthy sexual life by preventing spreading the virus to others and maintaining a healthy immune system. Herpes symptoms are unpleasant and painful blisters and irritable red bumps that appear around the genital area, buttocks, anus, thighs, cervix or where the infection is located. Symptoms include sores and blisters on and inside the mouth. These symptoms can easily infect another individual's during oral sex or mouth-to-mouth -mouth contact. For herpes type 2 suffers, reddened, sensitive, tingling skin appears in the genital region 2 to 20 days after the virus is transmitted. The skin may also itch or burn. This is the prodrome, or warning symptoms, that a herpes outbreak is imminent. The virus settles into nerves around the area of infection and causes the area to get an intense tingling. Herpes type 2 can also be the cause of irregular genital pain, vaginal discharge, urinary discomfort, fever and muscle groin aches and discomfort. And while there is still no cure for genital herpes, there are holistic treatment resources and natural remedies to help curb your cold sore eruptions and outbreaks from herpes which we will discuss in today's video. Welcome to our channel, Unhealthy to Healing. Our videos provide information on healthier foods and beverages, natural supplements, solutions, techniques and treatments to improve and help heal various health conditions. If you find value in this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. The more subscribers we get the better and more content we can keep creating. Also click the bell icon to be notified immediately when we release a new helpful video. Click on the subscribe button below this video. Disclaimer. All information provided on our channel Unhealthy to Healing and our videos are for educational purposes only and should not be considered as professional advice. Our goal is to provide accurate, detailed, thorough and to the point content. We are not a licensed professional and encourage our viewers to seek a licensed professional and or consult your doctor. Okay viewers, let's curb those cold sore eruptions and embarrassing outbreaks with these 12 natural remedies. Number 1. Lysine. Lysine is an amino acid that your body uses for digestion and healthy cell growth. Lysine has shown to be very beneficial in treating herpes as it has been shown in lab tests to suppress herpes virus reproduction. Taking a dose of lysine at the onset of a herpes outbreak has also shown to cause a rapid clearing of the lesions. Some reports suggest that a daily dose of 500 mg of lysine a day has maintained remission in infected persons. Foods rich in lysine include beef, chicken, turkey, pork, codfish, sardines, eggs, yogurt, parmesan cheese, spirulina and soybeans. And viewers, go easy on arginine containing foods like chocolate, whole wheat and oats, as arginine boosts viral reproduction. Number 2. Vitamin B Complex. Vitamin B Complex supplements contain all the B-class vitamins. These vitamins boost your energy, help your metabolism and support healthy cell growth. These functions are essential when herpes is attacking your body in an active outbreak. Also, stress on the mind and body can have a profound influence on herpes and cold sore outbreaks. B vitamins can help counteract the effect of stress on the body, as well as help with sleep and positive thinking. Number 3. Monolaurin. 
Monolaurin is a derivative of lauric acid, an unsaturated fatty acid which has been found to have antimicrobial and antiviral benefits. It is found naturally in breast milk and coconuts and is attributed to protecting the immune system against infections. Monolaurin has been demonstrated to have impressive antiviral properties against herpes. Number 4. Zinc. Zinc is critical to the immune system, and therefore low levels could be linked to frequent and or acute outbreaks. Zinc assists in the healing of wounds and is vital for skin repair. It may help to prevent skin damage, such as scarring or loss of pigment. And zinc enhances and optimizes the body's immune resistance against infections. Taking 30 mg of zinc daily may reduce how many herpes outbreaks you experience each year. Foods rich in zinc are seafood, pumpkin seeds, most dairy products, beans and lentils, whole grain cereals, legumes and yeast products. Number 5. Aloe Vera. Aloe Vera has wound accelerating properties and can help heal herpes lesions. Pure aloe vera gel can be applied directly to nearly every area of the body without being diluted. Number 6. Chamomile Essential Oil. Some research suggests that chamomile essential oil has soothing and virus-fighting properties that may help treat HSV2. But it must be diluted with a carrier oil. Number 7. Echinacea Extract. Echinacea extract may be an effective antiviral against both strains of herpes simplex. It is also an anti-inflammatory, which may also soothe existing outbreaks. You can apply echinacea extract directly without dilution. Number 8. Tea Tree Oil. Tea Tree Oil, Melaleuca alternifolia, has demonstrated usefulness against a variety of pathogens, including HSV1 and HSV2. Tea Tree Oil must be diluted with a carrier oil before you use it on a cold sore or genital herpes. Number 9. Neem Oil Extract. Neem, or Azadaracta indica, is a large evergreen plant native to the Indian subcontinent. The stem, root bark, young fruits and leaves of the plant have been used traditionally to treat a variety of conditions including infections, cancer, heart disease, diabetes and contraception. Neem oil on genital herpes lesions can reduce the severity of the condition and lower the number of eruptions. Neem bark extracts inhibit the entry of HSV1 into the target cells in the laboratory and may help prevent or treat herpes infections. Pure neem extract is potent and may burn your skin so please dilute it with a carrier oil. Number 10. Ginger Essential Oil. Ginger essential oil has the potential to kill the herpes virus on contact but must also be diluted with a carrier oil. Number 11. Eucalyptus Oil. Eucalyptus oil may be a potent antiviral against herpes. It also soothes and promotes healing and should be diluted with a carrier oil. Number 12. Licorice Extract. Licorice roots glycerizic acid can kill cells that are latently infected with Kaposi sarcoma associated herpes virus, the ninth known human herpes virus transmitted via sexual contact and non sexual roots. Its active ingredient has antiviral and anti inflammatory properties. These properties make licorice extract a promising treatment for outbreaks. You can apply licorice extract directly without dilution. And that wraps up the 12 natural remedies for herpes to curb your cold sore eruptions and outbreaks. And viewers, after trying some or all of these 12 remedies, remember to share your progress with us by typing unhealthy to healing in the comments section and telling us your story. We love hearing from our viewers. Please be safe, happy and healthy and we look forward to seeing you at our next video.